every new truck manufacturer has a full-size Texas edition. After all, this is where the phrase Cowboy Cadillac was born. But you take trucks, Texas, Barrett Jackson, and put them all together, and what the builders have brought here to sell is just jaw-dropping. This 59 Chevy short bed fleet side big window pickup underwent a full frame off nut and bolt restoration. Black cherry finish for the wood in the bed and the full custom interior is bright red to offset the deep jet black paint. This 69 K10 also underwent a rotisserie full frame restoration. It's uh, finished in University of Texas orange, of course, with white, all the chrome, the stainless, the seals, and the glass, and the oak bed are new. This 56 FE was a rust-free find in West Texas, El Paso, to be exact. Metal Brothers Hot Rods took this in 2020 and did this build on a four-inch stretched Roadster Shop chassis. These fenders look wider, they are. They've been pulled three and a half inches in the rear and two and a half inches up front. Look at the beautiful brushed finish on all the trim and that great saddle leather interior. I haven't seen anything that says Texas truck like this one. 1959 Chevrolet 3100 custom pickup underwent a full frame off nut and bolt restoration. The custom pickup, it's powered by a fuel injected 5.3 liter LS engine, dual exhaust backed by a 4L60E automatic transmission. Well, 200, what a beautiful resto mod this is done in black and red. That theme carried through even here into the grill. In 58, the United States government approved five and three quarter inch round headlights in pairs in addition to the single seven inch round headlight we were all so familiar with. Chevrolet jumped right on it and put it on these pickups first as an option and then across the line for quad headlights. This one has the fleet side body without the bolt-on fender seen earlier. This takes over from the Cameo from 55, 6, 7, and 8, but this is steel, whereas the Cameo was fiberglass. Big and bold, $110,000 to those folks up in the skybox in 1959. Chevy 3100 custom pickup. 1969 Chevrolet K10 custom pickup recently undergone a rotisserie full frame restoration. One of 1,649 originally produced short bed 4x4s in 1969. Power that comes from a modified 350 cubic inch V8 engine. The engine has been heavily, heavily modified. Has a GM high performance distributor. TCI Turbo 350 automatic. Hey, 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 Get down 50, 50, 50, and 50,000 dollars, 60,000 dollars, dollar, 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 Back to the block, lot 778 is a 1969 Chevrolet K10 pickup. Well, you know, the half-ton short bed is the recipe for fun and profit, and this is a real half-ton four-wheel drive short bed. Kind of a weird combination. Only 1,649 of these were made. Now, they do sell conversion kits, take a long bed, turn it into a short bed. This ain't one of them. It's real. Yeah, back in 1969, most people who wanted to work with their truck wanted the long bed. They wanted something they could haul things with. So the short bed, not quite as popular. All the work that's been done to this custom, look underneath. It, it's got twin shock absorbers, these twin Fox shock absorbers up front, twin canisters in the rear. Uh, all kinds of great work that's been done. Yeah, 355 small block under the hood. Not something that came from Chevrolet, but that's all good. It's basically a 30 over 350. That's where the extra five cubic inches come from. But it has aluminum cylinder heads, which is nice. Sheds about 35 pounds off the nose. Good power. Going to be at least 325, 250 horsepower, something like that. New 35-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires on Cali off-road wheels. Hugger orange over white. 
Yeah, and I'll tell you what, the paint just looks great up here on the block. The hugger orange, really freshly done. The white, let's call it a cream sickle. Let's call it sold for $85,000. The pickup truck we've been looking forward to watching cross the block. It's a 1956 Ford F100, big window, custom pro touring build. Folks, this is one of the most gorgeous pickups we've had in a sale. Absolutely flawless. Gen 2 Coyote under the hood. We've looked at this thing. It's been massaged. It's been dialed in. And here's an opportunity to buy a piece of art. Absolutely gorgeous truck at Barrett Jackson in Houston at no reserve, Shane. All right. Well, here's the Mighty Coyote, which is something that's kind of a new thing to the world of Ford swappers. I'm loving this. It used to be you put a 302 or something like that in here, but that's the Coyote twin cam, four valves. Let's have a look at the chassis cam underneath this beautiful Resto Mod. Now, this has been stretched four inches from stock. It rides on a Roger Shop chassis. There's the underside of that cha the camera, headers, automatic transmission, open drive. Again, that's the custom Art Morrison chassis, or sorry, a Roadster Shop. And it has a nine inch rear axle with coil overs. Man, is that beautiful. This is a Metal Brothers build. The front fenders stretch two and a half inches. The rear fenders have been pulled three and a half inches. All of the trim is done in that beautiful satin platinum. This is the most beautiful truck I have ever seen cross the block at Barrett Jackson. This is absolutely incredible. I'd be afraid to drive it. I just want to put it in my living room and sit there and look at it. It's only been driven 150 miles since it was built, so I think whoever's had it kind of feels the same way as you. On the tailgate, you see these machined aluminum Ford logo. This looks like something would come out of Ford styling. I mean, just really above and beyond the Call of Duty. Another thing, too, about this is that this has a stretched nose. In 1953, Ford shortened the front of their pickup trucks for better maneuverability around the farmyard or wherever, but it made them look kind of stubby. Well, this has been unstubbified. If you've seen it from the side, it looks kind of long and graceful. That's custom, very subtle work that you don't find on any other Ford pickup but here. The wood in the bed is a very subtle two-tone. I didn't notice that before, and it's been polished as much as the bodywork on this one. Uh, we'll move some of the papers here so Victor can get a great shot inside. This is just incredible. And that cab, by the way, has been chopped by about an inch and a half. So it's hard to find, well, not hard to find, impossible to find the seams to show all the work that was done. A very Euro style interior with the uh, tweed style carpet. Belton, wow. Well, it won truck of the year at the F100 Grand Nationals in 2020, and it just crossed the block and sold for $250,000 at Barrett Jackson in Houston. 